Have you ever had problems making a decision? Do you ever have a battle with yourself when you know you've got a big decision to make ahead? In this video, I wanna talk about how each of those decisions we make contribute to our journey and how we can guide that as we make those decisions in our life. As we do this and as we take our life's journey, we have decisions that we have to make a lot of the time. They're not always easy ones and they can be decisions that are hard to make. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but for me, it's usually a heart over a head decision. The ones where I know I have a decision to make. My heart is telling me one thing and my head is telling me the other. And when you add to that other people's opinions that come into it as well. See, I don't know about you, but one of the things that I always have to work on is my gut instinct. Very often, that's something that I've chosen to take advantage of. Sometimes I've got it wrong. And sometimes I've got it right. It's a really hard one to tell. But these are the choices that we have to make in our lives. And I suppose it also depends on how you see yourself and how your self-esteem is. And the other thing about those choices are you have to decide whether your decisions are going to enable you or close you down. Because sometimes it's easier to make that decision the one that's going to close you down than it is to take the one that's going to make it a bigger decision. Because what happens is sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. And that's when it gets really hard for most of us. So what do you base your decisions on? Do you base your decisions on what's right for you? Things that really depend upon your ethics and your values, where they come into a great part of it. Because when you do, you often find that although it's a simple decision you have to make, that you want to go with your heart and you want to go with your ethics and your values and all those things that are important to you. But when you want to do that sometimes, it's just so hard. It's a decision that you have to make that you find pushes you in different ways. It takes you on a trip really in your head that you don't really enjoy because it's not how you want to be because we all want to be comfortable in our lives and we all want to make decisions that are easy to do and that are going to kind of just get us exactly where we want to go. So how do you do it? You've got choices to make. You've got risk and regret. You can also, don't forget, get a piece of paper out and write down your pros and cons. We all know there are times when we make decisions that we're not comfortable with, where we really know the answer. But <laughs> the answer is to do something that's really uncomfortable for us and is not gonna make our lives easier. But I'll tell you what, those are the times, those are the important times when, for me, going by my gut has made a lot of sense. Now, don't get me wrong, because there have been times where my gut decision has made me take a wrong decision. And it's where my gut decision has been overtook by the feeling that I know what I'm doing. But there's also gonna be times when your gut decision tells you that you don't know what you're doing and you're not really sure what to do. And it's at those times when really what you need to do is to start using your head a bit as well. Look at some of the things that what your decision is gonna be are going to change. It may be time to do a little bit of research 
it may be that you just need to find out more because sometimes although in your heart you know you want to do this thing sometimes you don't know why <laughs> and it's at those times when it's really important to just check things out a little further I know I had an occasion where I got it wrong big time and I had it in my heart that I wanted to do I knew what I wanted to do and everybody everybody and I mean everybody I knew kept saying don't do it it's a bad thing don't do this this is gonna cause you problems and on this occasion I went with my gut <laughs> and blew out big style but it's not the end of the world because when that does happen one of life's other key things comes into play and that's called experience because what it does is it teaches you a life lesson that somewhere down the road you'll have it in the bank of the back of your mind and you'll be able to go hmm I did that before I'm not doing that one again or like me sometimes you can do things twice just to make sure I know I'm not the only person who's ever had this situation and if you are one of those people that have had to make a tough decision it may be to change your work it may be to move to another part of the country it may be to move abroad it may be that you're in a relationship that deep down you know is not good for you and there are times when you have to make these decisions and they're not really comfortable if you've been there I'll tell you what it would be really good if you could do if you could let me know in the comments and you don't have to go into depth but give us a brief outline of the things that were in play when you made the decision how you made the decision whether it was in your head or in your heart and if you did how it turned out because it's something that I'm sure I'm not the only person has ever gone through and I'll tell you what else I don't know it all I don't claim to know it all what I pass on to you here is a bit of I don't know a bit of experience a bit of advice some encouragement I suppose to take those steps that aren't the easiest to have a go and make the decision that you feel in your heart and in your gut and your intuition tells you is right for you it's funny the older you get the more things you realize that you can talk about that can help some others especially sometimes when you cock up big style and you're willing to tell the mistakes that you've made along the way if um, you like these kinds of videos please give us a like because that helps with the algorithm which is quite important apparently and then they can share it out with other people I'll tell you what else I've got if you want and you click up there there's a playlist with loads of my videos with advice and encouragement that I, you have to remember this this is stuff I share with my two sons the whole reason for this channel is for them and so if you think I'm going to give you information that I don't think is worthy keep that in mind I'll see you next time